happy that the tip of the line is now at the Cave OH Hill Junction. Um, and we're going to just take a note of where that is. So this is a 20 centimetre line. We can see the 20 centimetre mark. There's 19, 18, 17, 16, 15 and a half at the skin. Excellent. So I'm very happy we're in the right place. We've got positive confirmation straight away. So I'm going to flush that line again, push the lead across, push the clamp across, and we can get rid of that. And we've removed the guide wire, so we've confirmed again before we go any further. We've definitely got our guide wire, there's no, no problem with that. Good, so all we're going to do now is we've got to secure and fix this down and dress it. So we've got an 8 French secure cap. We'll just take that out of there, thank you very much. And then, as you'll see in the uh, other part of the video, we can now insert this, we fold it into an L shape. And this is a really important part of how we get this in. This hole is quite tight because I haven't used a, a cut, I haven't made a hole in the skin. Mm. So we're going to just see if we can get it in straight away. So I want this line to lie in this position on the patient's shoulder. This is the best position to keep it away from her face, very comfortable for the patient, very convenient for the nursing staff. So we want to try and get the secure calf in the same, into the patient in the position that we are going to um, position the line. So I want it like this, which means I'm going to put it in at this angle and then just pop this Kira cap in like that. There we go. So now we know what depth we want the line to be at. So we're just gonna double check we haven't moved. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. So we're just gonna put that to 15 and a half. There we go. And we can clip the lid of the Secura calf. really important that you make sure it's fully bonded down there's no gaps you see there's a little gap there we haven't quite squished it down properly there we go now it's clipped in you can see there's no gaps around the secure cap securing that very nicely to the patient's skin I'm nearly finished okay absolutely fine again the advantage of the secure cap fixation system is at any point in this patient's time on ITU um, we can always change the dressing, we can lift this central line up, allow us to clean all the way around, we get 360Z clear it, cleaning, um, it's a very neat way uh, without using any sutures. If we suture again, it usually causes a little bit of bleeding, as you can see it's a practically bloodless procedure, um, very clean and very easy to maintain afterwards. So as part of our infection prevention procedure on this particular unit, we're using a biopatch chlorhexidine impregnated sponge. We're just going to fit that around the insertion site, lay that down, and then all that remains is for me to put a dressing on. This is a Tegaderm Advanced CVC dressing, and that's just going to go over the whole thing. Just look to the left as much as you can for a second in order to take as much tension off the line as possible. And make sure that's bonded down really well good ceiling ceiling all the way around all right Sorry yeah let's that. just do a sign out then sign out buy a patch and secure a care in place let's check all equipment instruments accounted for yeah.